Hey guys, we're here in sunny Key Largo, Florida, and today we're going to show you how to install the MOB Plus wireless kill switch from Felmarine. We're on a 23 foot Tidewater center console with a 250 Yamaha. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to show you what comes uh, with the package so you know everything that's inside. So I've opened up the package and uh, you know, you've got your, your X Hub, uh, you've got your X Fob. You've got also the battery for it. Just put that inside there and close it up. Uh, you have your antenna. You have your manual. And you can also download our manual from our website at bellmarine.com. I suggest you take a look at it before you do the installation. We have wiring diagrams for all the major outboard brands. So go to bellmarine.com and have a look before you do this. We also have the connectors that you're going to need to do the installation. So I've got those right here. All right, so let's take a look at the console and find a good spot to install our x -Hub. What I'm going to do is look for a spot that's close to the existing kill switch. So right here, we've got the ignition switch and the kill switch. So probably want to be close to this area right here. I'm also going to look for a spot that's open on the dash where I can drill the hole. And this looks like it might be a good spot because uh, it's a big open space and I could probably access it from the rear as well. Okay, so I'm inside the console and I've located a panel for the power and found a spot where we can connect our, uh, our power. Right there, there's an open uh, spot and we'll just put a connector on and hook up our power there. And there's our ground, so that's where we'll connect our uh, our black cable. And then over here is the, the kill switch and the ignition assembly, and that's what we're going to take a closer look at in a second uh, to connect the kill switch wires. Okay, so we've removed the uh, existing kill switch. Here it is right here. We were able to just unplug it from the, the wire harness, and then we removed this nut here, and we are able to just take it out. So there it is right there. And what we're going to do next now is uh, we're going to hook up the uh, MOB Plus in parallel to the existing kill switch. So you'll still be able to, to use your existing kill switch. Okay, so we've gotten our kill switch ready to connect in parallel. So we've uh, put on the splices on there. And what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to connect our, uh, our harness here, our uh, MOB Plus harness. We're going to co connect the, uh, the gray wire uh, to the white wire and the orange wire to the black wire. Okay, one thing I wanted to point out is when you're making your connections, um, when you put it inside the butt splice, just like that, you don't want to put the insulation inside the, the, the metal area because you, you'll have a bad connection. So just put the, the exposed part of the wire inside your butt splice and leave the insulation out. Okay, so we've prepped our uh, MOV Plus harness and I wanted to show you the connections. And we're all ready to, to put it in. But before I do, let me show you how we've, uh, we've set it up. So, we, like I mentioned before, we're hooking it uh, up in parallel with the existing kill switch. So, we've got the wires there in a T. We've got the uh, MOV Plus gray and orange wires going into the white and black wire of the kill switch. And then here we have these connectors that are ready to, to plug in. And then for our power, we've got our ground and our power using the same type of terminals uh, to connect to the fuse box uh, inside the console. So we're just going to plug those in and we'll be ready to go. And then, uh, this is the last thing we need to do, is this wire we really don't need, but we want to put the cover over it so there's no chance of it shorting out anything else. So that's done. So right, right with that, we're all ready to go. We'll just plug all that in and this will plug into the X-Hub and we should be all ready uh, to set to uh, do our first pairing. Okay, everybody. So what we've done, we've uh, drilled our hole in the position we wanted it to be, and we're ready to mount the, uh, the X-Hub. So to mount the X-Hub, all this sleeve right here, you just unscrew it. Once it's unscrewed, make sure you got your O-ring right in there, your gasket. And what you're gonna do, just slide it right in there, okay? Just like that, and make sure it's centered with the battery indicator up on top and then I'm going to go in the back and screw this on. Okay now uh, we're going to hook up our harness uh, to the X-Hub. As you can see here we've already connected it to the fuse box, we've already connected it to the uh, existing kill switch in parallel 
and now we're going to put the harness into the X-Up. There's a little notch right there. Okay, it's a five pin uh, waterproof connector. You just put that notch, it matches up with the notch right in there. So I'm just going to put that right in there like that. And then I'm going to screw it in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now that's in. Okay, and I want to point out too, we have two override uh, functions with the um, MOB Plus. Uh, one of them can be done directly on the X-Hub on the face, but uh, there's another one here. There's this emergency cap. Okay, it says right there, uh, emergency cap. So if I were to unscrew that, and then this emergency cap, I just put it, screw it back in the top there, that'll circumvent the whole system. So that's like an emergency override that you can use, okay? And then um, the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, install the antenna. Uh, the antenna is flexible, so it, you know it can it can bend. It's okay, uh, and it goes in right there. So let me just uh, screw that in. All right, it's nice and tight. All right, so now we've got everything connected. Uh, everything looks good, uh, and I am going to turn on the battery switch. Okay, that beep uh, tells me that we've got power to the unit. Okay, so we have our X-Hub installed. We hooked up the harness and everything, everything's plugged in. And now what we're gonna do is pair our X-Fob to our X-Hub. Very easy to do. You press and hold the button on the X-Hub. It beeped, it's gone blue, it's ready to pair. Then I press and hold the button on my X-Fob. And then the light goes from blue to green. That tells me I've got a successful pairing. Okay, so we paired our uh, X fob. All right, so uh, we paired we paired our X fob. We've got the X fob inside our X band, and now what we're going to do is uh, start things up and uh, make sure that uh, everything's working properly. So I'm going to connect. Connect it there. Turn on the ignition. Okay, motor's running, everything looks good. Got a green light blinking on my X-Hub. And now I'm just gonna press my X-Band, turned it off, engine stops. So I verified that it's properly working. Okay guys, we're gonna give you a demonstration of the MOB Plus kill switch in action. Uh, we've got it installed, everything's working fine, engine's running. So now we're gonna demonstrate what happens when somebody falls overboard. Here we go. It's gone into MOB Plus emergency mode. Engine stops. After six seconds, you're able to restart the engine, even though you don't have the fob. You can go back and pick up Frederick. 